the history of the great state of Texas can be traced back to four critical factors, wind, water, railroads, and barbed wire. Come along as we explore how these components combine to make the Lone Star State what it is today. The early Texas windmill was an ingenious contraption designed to use the forces of nature to accomplish its vital purpose, quenching the thirst of an arid region's inhabitants. The windmill used the earth as its firm foundation, the wind currents above as its inexhaustible though often erratic energy source, and the aquifers below as the fount and storage of its supply. Windmills performed a kind of Old West alchemy, transforming nature's abundant wind into potable water. Before windmills were sprinkled across the vast Texas plains by innovative ranchers and railroad entrepreneurs, those scorched regions were fit for habitation only by Mother Nature's feathered, furry, and scaly creatures that flitted, roamed, and slithered their way across the bleak terrain with but one objective in mind, survival. The settlement of Texas was to some degree motivated by an inherent quest for land and new opportunities and fueled by the advancements in steam locomotion. It was the entrepreneurial spirit of immigrants and railroad barons alike that drove pioneers ever westward, seeking new markets, new cities, new villages and rural farming communities, and new beginnings. This trickle of people first settled land that was nourished by life-sustaining water in its natural locations. Along creeks, bows, rivers, ponds, and lakes, as more and more settlers ventured into the Texas Plains, they were forced to seek innovative solutions to find new sources of water. The rancher needed water for his herds, and the railroads needed water for their thirsty steam locomotives. Without the windmill, vast regions of Texas would remain largely unsettled to this day. This simple device made all the difference. Today, the windmill appears destined to perform an important and simple new role, the conversion of wind, not to water this time, but to energy. An understanding of the exciting history of Texas and its vital sources of water begins with tracking its rivers as they meander primarily north to south across our huge state. And what constitutes a river? A dictionary might tell us that a river is all or part of a natural water course, usually fresh water, which ultimately flows to the sea. But that definition is rather humdrum, don't you think? And doesn't come close to describing these magnificent bodies of water and their vital role in our state's past, present, and future. The rivers deserve our respect, our attention, and our care. And that's what this presentation is all about. <laughs>